Here I have a bunch of cubes cloned in the linear mode. So I want to animate the size, the Y size of each cube. You, uh, to do that, I'll use the uh, plane effector. So go to effectors, choose the plane effector, go to parameters, uncheck position. I want to animate the scale, so I'll check scale, and then increase the Y uh, value. And I want to animate using fields. So go to the fields and add a spherical field. Uncheck uh, the colorize option and then drag the field so that it's not affecting the clones. Now select the field again. Go to coordinates, add a keyframe. Go to frame 40 and drag the field through the queue so that it animates them and then add another keyframe. Now if you go back and play the animation, you'll see that the animation is uh, okay, but it's not. It's a little bit boring. So uh, to fix that, we'll add a delay effector. So select the cloner again, go to uh, effectors and choose delay. Now the delay effector doesn't have many options. If you go to effector tab, it has even blend and spring. The blend and spring options are, are the most used. So blend makes the animation smooth. Let's increase the strength first. Go play the animation. You'll see that it makes it, makes it very smooth. Now, we, what we want is the spring option. Now, if you go back to the animation and play the animation, you'll see this is the effect it has. Now, notice that if you select the clone or go to effectors, you'll see that the delay has to come after the plane. Otherwise, uh, uh, there would be no uh, springiness in the animation.